I'm Ashley Bishop, and I'm here with the most over tag team in the world, the Rock and Roll Express, Robert Gibson and Ricky Morton. Well, guys, let me tell you this right here, Nick Fury and Dirty. Do you know what Dirty is all about? When it comes to the APW Tag Team Championship, do you know what it's about? Because I want you to understand this. Don't let your thinking outsmart your common sense. Now, buddy, it's not our first rodeo. Understand, we've been eight-time World Tag Team Champions. We've been down every road that you can imagine. But every highway we took led us straight to the top. Understand me, Nick Fury and Dirty, when you step in the ring with the Rock and Roll Express, Welcome to the big league, buddy, because that's what it's all about. Things you never even thought of or heard are going to be done. At 8 p.m., looking for action, America Pro Wrestling right here in Spartanburg, South Carolina, right across from the Kentucky Fried Chicken, right down on this road right here, 221, coming in. I'm getting ready to go down there myself. Action and excitement in every match. Cease it stars as the fabulous Mula, Chief J. Eagle, One Man Gang, The Barbarian, America's Most Wanted, Sonny Landale, and many others. Make your plans, wrestling fans, American Coliseum, 380 Whitney Road. Be there. Not going so well? Well, come on in to Rhonda's Styling Salon and let us give you something to feel good about. You have a hot day? Or do you just want to put a little romance back in your life? Here at Rhonda's Tiling Salon, we'll give you a makeover that'll turn every head. So give us a call, 864-599-5146 at Rhonda's Tiling Salon. Hi, I'm Rhonda Bragg. Have you been looking for something to do on Saturday night with the entire family? Well, come on out to American Pro Wrestling, located at 380 Whitney Highway, one half mile north of Spartanburg Regional Hospital. We're here every Saturday night, and the excitement is just way beyond control. Come on out and see us. That's American Pro Wrestling every Saturday night. You'll be glad you did. Defending APW United States Heavyweight Champion, Mean Matt Marshall. You hear his ring his music. But I'll tell you, it's sure to be, what do we call it, a slobber knocker. Oh yeah, this will not be a pretty match at all. There is no love loss between these two individuals. Matt Marshall said, you know, he doesn't like Chief Eagle, and Chief Eagle's made it real, real plain he don't like me, Matt Marshall. But there he is, the reigning and defending APW United States Heavyweight Champion, Mean Matt Marshall, coming in probably for one of his toughest defenses in his title reign against the legendary Chief J. Eagle. Well, Bill Hayes, what not only does Mean Matt Marshall not like Chief J. Eagle, he says he's going to be the man to send Jay Eagle packing out of APW. Thousands have tried over the last 15 years to get rid of him. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to tell you right now, if he accomplishes that, I will be amazed. I will become an instant mean Matt Marshall fan because love him or hate him, Chief Jay Eagle is tough as shoe leather. And there he is, that beautiful headdress, blue colorful trunks against, look at there, black on black on black. The United States Heavyweight Champion, mean Matt Marshall, Showing that belt to the crowd, maybe for the last time. Indeed, the championship is up for grabs. Chief Eagle still, he's still drinking that fire water. Oh yeah, he's he's going to be uh, pretty well toasted by the time. Oh, and he didn't even wait for the bell. He took that bottle and he went right to work on to the U.S. champion, me Matt Marshall, Chief J Eagle with those chops, hit him with the water bottle or whatever it was fire water in there to float over. And here goes a pin already, one two, and a kick out. Chief J Eagle, not wasting any time. And, buddy, he is jacked up. I think you're right. I think there was something other than water in that bottle. Well, unfortunately, this makes for a very dangerous situation in the ring because you'll notice the canvas is a very slippery surface. You add water to that. Oh, whips him out of the corner the hard way, as they call it. Back on the back of the shoulders. Drops the elbow. Absolutely, there's a bunch of uh, water, alcohol. A anything. Alcohol and water over in that far yeah. corner. Ooh, and down goes Chief J. Eagle. Matt Marshall did as much damage himself. He may have knocked himself a little goofy with that. Well, maybe, maybe, it, face. maybe a little more goofy, I should I say. Think, well, there you go. Good point. Matt Marshall's struggling to get back up to his feet using the ropes to help himself up. Irish whip in. Big boot. And a cover. And you see the signs in the crowd. We love Jay Eagle. Absolutely. I'll tell you right now. Chief Jay Eagle, the mainstay, the cornerstone. The marquee name here at American Pro Wrestling. 15 years, hundreds of shows, thousands of shows. Every Saturday night, you can be part of the Action Wrestling fans. 380 Whitney Highway, 
one half of a mile on Highway 221, just below the Spartanburg Regional Hospital, across from Brett Wolverton's favorite place to eat, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And me and Matt Marshall got a side headlock on there, and it looks like he's trying to distract the referee. We can't see from our vantage point, but does he have a fork? Does he have a fork? He, he, he has an object of some sort. I can't quite tell what oh, it is. Oh, looks like he's got a fork, and he's sticking him in the buttocks. He and, is... Uh, Forrest Gump would say. Yeah, is he, he is giving Matt Marshall a forking of a lifetime. Absolutely. And Chief J. Eagle, the true constant professional, hit that fork right back here in the booth. Referee hadn't seen it. Oh, whips him over by the hair. That hair could be a hint. There, there is probably not a single wrestler in the Carolinas, Bill Hazelwood, that hasn't come through the APW halls at least once. I was told when I first started doing shows in this area, you have not been on the Carolina Indies until you've been at an Absolutely. APW show. There is no doubt about it, and probably some of the greatest fans in professional wrestling. There's a cover, two, and a kick out by the APW heavyweight, uh, American, United States heavyweight champion, Matt Marshall. And, oh. and you will notice when he went for that pin that Jay slid a little bit. That's, of course, because of that fire water that we saw earlier on. Is that bottle over in the corner? Yeah, I see the bottle Maybe back in the corner. Don't know if we need it here at you ringside. At home wrestling fans, I am a trained professional. Uh, me, Matt Marshall. No, here's what you hit the nail on the head. In general, do not try this at home, fans. What you're seeing done by trained professionals, years of experience. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure Jay Eagle has more years that he would like to admit to. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> But, it, I mean, we say it just alone, 15 years here. Is me Matt Marshall, has he still got that foreign object? I can't tell if he like has trying it. To distract, trying to get the referee's attention to the crowd. I can't tell from our vantage point. Maybe you can see better at home from the camera. I don't know. Pulls him back to the center of the ring. Uh-oh. Going to stomp him right there in front of the referee. That's surely a ground for disqualification. Oh, drops to that lower abdominal area you know he was able to get area, so to speak. he was able to get the heel of his boots into the midsection of chief jay eagle however where does the rest of that foot go oh, big kickoff by chief jay eagle it can only go below the belt that's right down mexico city way look here chief jay eagle's going for the fork yeah that that is a fork there's no denying that look at him just look at him keeping it hit from the referee chief jay eagle just wants that united states heavyweight title and right to the throat tip for tap What's well, good for the goose? And oh man, he's out of our vantage point. Looks like he was sticking him in the nose with it. I'm pretty sure that fork said property of Abdullah's house of ribs oh, and Chinese food out of Atlanta. God, unbelievable. It could be, could be a present from the legendary Abdullah the Butcher. Got his feet on the rope. The referee's seeing it. Great ring positioning by the referee. Able to see the feet of Chief J. Eagle on the ropes. New to break the pin. Referee in great position. Is he biting it? He's biting him. Blatantly biting him. Ooh. He must taste bad. He spit something out. The U.S. title up for grabs. The champion, Mean Matt Marshall, the challenger, Chief Jay Eagle, here at American Pro Wrestling, the American Coliseum. And a kick out at two and three quarters. And man, we thought we had a new United States heavyweight champion in Chief Jay Eagle. Matt Marshall able to kick out strictly on instinct. Another rollover. Here we go. One. Two. He's in the ropes. Got his hands on the ropes. Good ring presence by the reigning APW United States Heavyweight Champion, me Matt Marshall, to know right where he was in that ring. Chief Jay Eagle backing him into the corner. Choking him. Just blatant choking him. Using that five count to his advantage. Chief now, Jay Eagle reversing it. Anything you can do, I can do better. Absolutely. But, what what? Oh, he threw the referee out of the way. That's not smart. Unbelievable. I'm sure that's going to be grounds for dismissal. Here we go. Uh, Chief what is the Jay referee going to do? Chief Jay Eagle the just... Fork, man, the referee's running for high ground. He's, he's stabbing him with the fork. He's right. chasing the referee. They're calling for the bell. The referee... referee got into the stands. I was just going to say, he's headed for the exits away... Out of camera range. Chief Jay Eagle's lost his mind. I'm sure the referee has disqualified Chief Jay Eagle. So that means still your United States heavyweight champion. Oh, God, Brett, is he coming over this way? I hope not. If he Matt does. Matt Marshall. Matt Marshall choking like crazy. Eagle just obviously stabbed him. Now got his bottle full of fire water. And back off. He's throwing it on Matt. Sharing it with the crowd. Back off to the out of camera range. Wow. Unbelievable. And I hear it under our head pace. We're going to the back. For, oh, oh, God, here he's coming yeah, out. Yeah, he's going to be coming out here. I don't... With Kenny Devine's dynasty. Oh, my God. Like I said, don't adjust <laughs> your set. His suit really, really is that bright. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. 